Welcome back to the channel everybody. I am Florida Boy. This is my EDC channel. On today's video we're just going to be doing my May, <laughs> I, don't, I almost said April, May 2023 pocket dump. Let's get into it. All right, so I realized that I didn't do my pocket dump for May. So uh, I know it's kind of middle of the month, but we're gonna go ahead and just kind of look at what I'm carrying this month. So first up, got my Ace of Hanks uh, pirate pirate map. I think is what it was. I I don't remember. <laughs> I don't I don't I never remember what the names of these things are. But this is my Ace of Hanks Hank. Uh, I never leave home without a hank. I use them pretty often, especially the microfiber side for cleaning, you know, the camera lens or, you know, wiping down my knife after I'm done using it. Just, just all kinds of things. Um, next thing, the knife that I'm carrying this month is my Spyderco PM2. Uh, this has the rock scale designs, um, scales on it. They're titanium and, uh, we got a Lynch Northwest clip. Uh, just uh, my carta bead with some paracord and I think that well and I've got Knifeworks hardware on there and uh, I think that's it that for all the mods that are done to this um, I think I'm going to do the rock scale designs backspacer uh, I haven't haven't decided yet uh, this is the warney version uh, so I've, I'm definitely a uh, Warncliffe I think is one of the best utilitarian blades out there and, uh, well, I was going to wipe the blade, but it's okay. Um, yeah, you, you can't, you can't convince me otherwise. I think Warren Cliffs are probably some of the best blades out there for EDC. Um, along with, um, like Tanto. Uh, Tanto might be my favorite blade style. It's, it's really close. I do love Warnies. Um, next we'll just talk about my flashlight that I'm carrying. So I've been given some pocket time to the Mech Army. This is the PS16, I believe. I can't even read that. Yeah, PS16. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> so this is the guy I've been carrying. Um, it is a extremely weird um, way to operate. Like the the. <laughs> so um, strobe warning, strobe warning. If you uh, have any kind of epileptic epileptic issues uh just pass through this but so it goes medium low high strobe and uh yeah <laughs> so it's it's kind of a kind of a funky cycle but i i do love this flashlight this is a cool flashlight this is a stainless steel i wish it was titanium but uh i haven't bought their titanium flashlight yet so stainless steel it is um next I carry the Chavez Ultramar wallet. Uh, yes, I took my cards and stuff out of here because I don't plan on buying your next knife. I want to buy mine. So, uh, yeah, this I picked up from um, oh, E-Knives. There we go. I picked it up from E-Knives. And uh, I think it was only like 50 bucks. It wasn't, it wasn't extremely expensive. It was pretty inexpensive, actually. This is titanium, too. So, pretty cool. I did a video on them. Pretty much all the stuff I'm showing. But uh, yeah, this is my wallet of choice. I love this thing. Uh, <laughs> I think it's an awesome, awesome wallet. So that is the Chavez Ultramar. I think it's called the Titanium Card Carrier? Card something something or another. Um, next, we'll just talk about keys real fast. So this is from County Com, And this is the little key buddy. And then we have the, all this is titanium too. Um, and then we have the titanium, I believe it's called the life ring or life spring or something like that. But you can see this is springs. And then these are little, just little titanium loops I put on like all my keys. And uh, also the little, um, these are from County Com too, the split rings. The split rings are also titanium. I know a little, little overboard, but they're actually, they're really inexpensive and they last a really long time. Um, several of them. I'm actually just going to put these off to the side. 
uh, several of those, like five of them is like $8 or something like that. It's, it's pretty inexpensive for it being titanium. Um, next, I am still carrying my Bradford Guardian 3. Um, I, I just love having a fixed blade on me. There you go. So mine's the M390, and I've got the stone wash finish. I love the finishes they put on their blade. This is a, I think, I believe this is a Horix gear, a copper bead. Got to have some kind of copper in my carry. <laughs> I can't, I can't go anywhere without my copper. And, um, you know, one of these days I'm going to have to do a bag dump because this is just what I carry in my pockets. I, uh, I do carry an EDC bag with me every single day. So I keep a lot of stuff in there. So here we go. Just doing a close up look. We can see here that I've got some leather from the sheath. There we go. The man, this is such a, such a killer knife. Um, I love the, I love the guardian three. So now it kind of goes a little, a little downhill, like not, I guess I wouldn't say downhill, a little bit less fun. So, uh, one thing I never leave home without AirPod pros. These are the first generations I've had these for literally years, <laughs> probably like three years. Um, I tend to watch a lot of YouTube and, uh, I don't usually just watch it from the speakers on my phone. I like to put my ear pods in and listen to it, you know? Unless I'm just not in the mood to listen to it, and then I'll just read the captions. I, I do that a lot too. That's that's kind of <laughs> I do that. I do that an awful lot. Um, so the last thing I pretty much carry on my person is you probably see this in videos a lot. This is the Apple Watch Ultra. Um, freaking love this thing. I I will always buy the new Apple Watches. This is my white band, the Alpine. Uh, Alpine Loop, I believe is what it's called. Um, but yeah, I, I love, 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 love that. Um, and the other thing that I carry a lot, even though it kind of doesn't fit in here, is I do carry my LM10, and uh, it really just depends. So these white, these two lights right now are getting swapped out a lot with this carry. Um, I just, this is probably one of my most favorite lights of all time. And, uh, I, I absolutely love it. Done a little bit of modding to it. So I just wanted to give him an honorable mention. He, he's carried a lot, a lot. Um, just like, just like this guy right here, my MSI Microtech standard issue. Uh, this actually just got back from duty's daggers. Uh, he borrowed it from me just for a little while, do a cut test and a review on it. And, uh, so it's been out of my rotation for just a little while, but, uh, he just got back yesterday and uh, he'll start seeing some pocket time again. So I'm, I'm excited to start carrying this guy again. Um, now that now that it's been gone and it came back, it's kind of got like that new feeling to it again. Um, but also, I've done so many knives here in, uh, in recent times. It makes me realize the detent on it is pretty junk, not even there. Uh, one more... Here we go. One more thing to just mention is I have also been carrying these a lot, a lot. And uh, these guys are going to get, um, they have their own reviews, their, or not their own reviews, but they have their own unboxing videos type-ish. Um, but these are going to get uh, one of those uh, videos where I pit them up against each other because these are kind of... Oh man, um, these are both great knives, but they're kind of, it's those knives that everybody's like, which one do I buy? So, um, we're going to go over that. That's the new, uh, the new Pyrite and this is the Echo. So we got a Ray Laconico design here and, uh, they're both freaking phenomenal. They're both so good. Um, I, I'm telling this, this Echo, man, the Echo's, the Echo's pretty crazy. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. So, uh, put those back down. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. I just wanted to do a quick pocket dump video. I, f I realized that I totally forgot to do that. And, um, you know, this is an EDC channel. We need we need to do pocket dumps. So, uh, that's going to wrap this video up today. I know it was short. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff on my plate lately. So, I'm um, sorry the videos have been a little short. But I'm trying to keep the content good and relevant. So uh, we'll 
we'll get into it. We'll we'll keep going and things will pick up. <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by, checking out the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like button and consider subscribing. I post pretty much every day. Thanks again, guys. Catch you on the next one.